G'day everyone, Matt Elder here, and in this video I'm going to give a quick time-lapse overview of how I created this pet portrait, or as I like to call them, portraits. If you'd like to commission a pet portrait of your best friend, drop me a line at matt at mattelder.com. A watercolour A3, 12 by 16 inches, one like this, at time of recording would be around 199 mark. I start out with the drawing and then block in the background. It's the quickest way to get the shape of the dog to read well. As the dog is largely orange and warm colours, I'm going cool and complimentary in the background with blues and greens. I randomly squirt masking fluid using an old toothbrush, as this will help to give some texture and I love that random incomplete feeling in the final work. I start laying down some base colours and like to build the colours up in several layers. This helps to keep the eye dancing across the colours. For the shadow colours I like to push into the cool purples and it keeps life rather than going to dull blacks and the light. I'll spot in some of the darkest blacks in the key features of the eyes, nose and lower jaw. It helps to set the darkest points of the image so when building up the other colours I totally know where the range can get to. Continue to lay in colours to give variety. Then I start on some individual fur hairs to really give the pet its individual characteristic that the owner would recognise. Then it's just a matter to continue drawing out these individual hair strands and adding in the fine detail as you go. Then working around the muzzle and more individual hair strands. From here I really want to separate out the side of the head into the shadow and get the form reading better, so adding in some more darker colours. I want to have the far side of the head more suggested, particularly around the eye with the long hairs, so never really touch this area of the painting. I remove the masking fluid from below the jaw and lightly knock back the white of the paper so the bottom jaw is more clearly defined. Noodle out a few more details and call it done. Here is the finalised image. If you'd like to commission a pet portrait of your best friend, drop an email to matt at mattelder.com. Also works great as a gift to your significant other or family member. Here are some other videos you might be interested in. Most Sunday nights at 8pm UK time, I have a You Say I Draw live stream on YouTube. You come along and in the chat, tell me what to draw and I do some quick sketches. Be sure to pop by and say good day. If you enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up button. Until next time, when we talk about all things lifestyle.